We gather in this beginning of our Advent season to acknowledge the presence of the Lord, the light of the nations. We welcome you who carry that baptismal light in the world. As we pray, Father, we praise you for sending your Son to save us from our sins and to be light in our darkness. Bless us as we gather in his name and bless this wreath as a sign of his light among us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered as his, at his right hand, they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will fulfill the promise I made to the house of Israel and the house of Judah. In those days and at that time, I will cause a righteous branch to spring up for David, and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In those days, Judah will be saved, and Jerusalem will live in safety. And this is the name by which it will be called, 
The Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we abound in love for you. And may he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his saints. Finally, brothers and sisters, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus that as you learn from us how you ought to live and to please God, as in fact you are doing, you should do so more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus spoke to his disciples. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on the earth distress among nations, confused by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will faint from fear and foreboding of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to take place, stand up and raise your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. Be on guard so that your hearts are not weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of this life and that day catch you unexpectedly like a trap. For it will come upon all who live on the face of the whole earth. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, my dear family, sisters and brothers in Christ, everybody out there in TV land, Happy New Year. It's the beginning of the church year. Happy New Year. It's a rather slow start to the new year. One little candle is burning. Blessings and grace to the Jewish community as they begin Hanukkah today. They light candles too. Isn't that nice? Everybody's lighting candles today. The Jewish people are lighting the menorah. The Catholic people are lighting the advent wreath. All the Christian people are lighting the advent wreath. It's a time of, of awakening. It's a time of, of joyful hope and expectation. The joy of the nearness of the Lord is something to kindle in this Advent time, to kindle that closeness of the Lord as the Lord, as it were, is knocking upon the door of our hearts knocking upon our, our lives. I want to come in. I want to be with you. The Lord is close to us. That's going to be a theme all through Advent. O come, O come, Emmanuel. And we're going to celebrate Christmas. He's, he's going to arrive in a little package, a little package about that big, a baby in a humble way. The Lord is close to us like the raindrops. You cannot get into the cathedral. You cannot get out of the cathedral without raindrops falling on your head. Raindrops keep falling on my head. I don't have a second job as a singer. Don't worry. The raindrops, that most humble element on the planet. We take it for granted. Little raindrop, little raindrop. The raindrops are moving mountains. The raindrops move mountains. The humbleness of water is moving mountains. Watch the news. You'll see the mountains moving. Moving. The closeness of our God 
the humble presence of our God, like the water, moves mountains, moves the mountains of our, our hearts if they become hard like rock, if our hearts have become stones, if we've closed off our love of our neighbor or closed off, as the second reading says, the love of all, the love of all. This is Advent. The invitation of the second reading is, is to love all. It says, the love all. To be awakened to the needs of our neighbors, to be awakened to the cry of all. Another boatload of people drowned in the English Channel last week. To be awakened to that cry is also the Advent season. It's, it's a season of awakening. It's a season of, of the lighting of the candles so that we can see the path of the humble servant, Jesus Christ. So we can follow the path of the humble Lord who has come to walk with us, to follow the humble path, the servant, Jesus Christ. And finally, it's an awakening to the covenant of justice. All through the Old Testament, the cry of the prophets, Jeremiah announcing the Messiah, he will be the one to establish justice, justice on the land, justice for the first peoples of the land. We have been awakened. We have been awakened to the justice crying out in this land. And so as we enter this beautiful time of Advent, try not to spend too much time shopping. Remember, you get better deals on Boxing Day. <laughs> Go shopping on Boxing Day. Give your presents in the 12 days of Christmas. You get better deals. I'm just telling you. There's 12 days of Christmas. Take the time of Advent. Let the light enlighten our hearts. Show us the path of humility. Acknowledge the closeness of the Lord like the raindrops. And we can see the power of the raindrops moving mountains. And be awakened in this time of Advent to the covenant justice of our God for the land and in Canada for the first peoples of this land. Be awakened as we journey with the indigenous people going to see Pope Francis on the 20th of December. Be awakened. It's a time of light. It's a time of being alert. It's a time of following that path that Jesus has shown us when he came in a little package, a little baby. Follow the Lord. And the Lord is close to us in the power of his spirit. And if you've got an Advent wreath at home, just make sure you blow out the candle before you go to bed. Be safe. 
look after one another, take care in this beautiful time of being awake, awake to the joy, awake to the closeness of the Lord, awake to the cry of our neighbors on this planet as we are all interconnected, one family taking care of one another. Have a good Advent. Have a good Advent. So let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. And now we offer our prayers and petitions to our merciful Father. that we may respond joyously to the message to wake from sleep, throw off the works of darkness, and put on the armor of light. We pray to the Lord. Lord. That the Lord's arrival may not be a disruption of our lives, but the goal of all our desires. We pray to the Lord. Lord. That God will plant the divine word of hope deep in our hearts, and give us the strength to remain faithful, even when tragedy and suffering enter our lives. We pray to the Lord. For ongoing relief and consolation of all those who suffer from natural disasters or acts of violence, we pray to the Lord. For those whose advent is full of pain, illness, loneliness, hunger, and poverty, that we may be willing to reach out to them and assist them in their every need, we pray to the Lord. For the souls of the faithful departed, that the Son of Man may lead them into the glory of his kingdom, we pray to the Lord. God of infinite love, in your closeness and consoling presence, you hear our prayers and grant them in Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink, Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Except we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. And that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for the day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, 
we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. And so, having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis, our Pope, myself, your unworthy servant, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk in your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, Saint Andrew, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer one another a physically distant sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participate, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thank you, Kathleen and choir. They, oh, they're waving now, that's good. Thank you, thank you, uh, uh, Kathy, for taking care of the live stream. Uh, thank you all for showing up on this beautiful Advent Sunday. I pray you have a, a great day. I won't say stay dry. I think that would be useless. Just go out and get wet. Enjoy the raindrops. Just know how powerful those raindrops are. And we'll have a good advent. Light your candles. Build a wreath. Keep on praying. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. Take it away, Kathleen.